Welcome to episode 235 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host, and today I'm going to talk about why I finally got an Apple Watch. It keeps turning off every time I hold it up. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So, I mean, years ago, when probably the first Apple Watch came out, maybe Series 2, um, my family bought me an Apple Watch for my birthday, and they were really excited. I remember we were actually in a hotel at the time, and they had the gift for me, and they unboxed it, and they were all so excited, and I unwrapped it, and I did what I hate that I do sometimes, and that's the fact that they get all excited, and I look at it, and I go, oh... Thank you. And they know immediately, like, uh-oh, is it something that you didn't want? And, like, who wouldn't want a new piece of Apple technology? It's something that is so much fun to get. And in the moment, you know, I tried it on, and I, you know, I didn't get I didn't want it because I didn't want something buzzing and distracting me on my wrist. I just wanted a little bit of separation from technology. I enjoy the fact that when I put my phone somewhere, it stays there and it's not attached to my body. And obviously the technology was a little, a lot worse back then. Um, I was in a different position of life back then. Um, but after profusely apologizing and feeling bad that I didn't want it, it's tough to accept the gift when it's so expensive and you know you're not, not going to wear it and all that. So, um, we ended up bringing the Apple Watch back, but here we are like six, seven years later. I don't know however long it's been since this is a Series 7 Apple Watch, so it's been that long. And here we are, and now I purchased this by myself, or you know, I purchased it this weekend. And the reason that I did it has to do with the fact that what I measure and pay attention to actually impacts how I operate in the future. And this is kind of the principle I want to talk about today, that what gets measured, gets fixed, I guess is kind of the conventional wisdom saying. And about a year ago or two years ago now, I had this thing on my wrist. And if you're not, if you're not watching, you're just listening, this is a WHOOP bracelet, W-H-O-O-P. And what it does is just track your heart rate, oxygen level, skin temperature, et cetera. And I got this because my good friend Glenn Lundy recommended it because he uses it to track his sleep. And I was in a, in a time when I really wanted to start to understand my sleep how can I make it more efficient? Um, how can I do more with less? Um, how can I be healthy and all that stuff? So I got this Whoop bracelet about two years ago, and this bracelet operates on a subscription plan where you pay a certain amount of money per, per month and you commit for a year and they give you the hardware. And I've had it for about a year and a half. And, you know, I had gotten some bonus months in there, which is why um, it's now just coming up for renewal. And um, what I learned is that when I started tracking my sleep, I just started improving my sleep. I started getting to bed at a more normal time. I started to understand why maybe I was tired. I understood um, how much time I spent awake even after I went to sleep. I understood the difference between sleep cycles. And although I have a long way to go to dialing my sleep in, tracking my sleep with this bracelet here helped me focus attention on it to the point where I started to improve it. And now I can say two years later, a little less than two years later, I get much more efficient sleep. I still need to sleep, I think, a little bit more, but now I do quite a bit more on six to seven hours of sleep than I used to do on like seven to eight hours of sleep. So I know it, it might not seem like a, a huge improvement, but it's a whole hour of my day that I've gotten back, and I actually feel good most of the time, as long as I follow the routine and learn my body. So there's an element of paying attention to things, and the second you pay attention to it, you actually start improving it and that's because subconsciously your mind is on it if you start ever start weighing yourself right you want to be in better physical shape so you start weighing yourself on the scale guess what the donut might not go in the mouth you know what i'm saying because you're thinking like oh i'm paying attention to this i'm making progress or i'm falling behind and i probably should put the donut down and pick up an apple or something like that happens all the time this is why in business, they talk about key performance indicators, KPIs, key performance indicators, KPI. Because if you look at one or two things and the simpler it is, the higher level it is, the better, and you focus on that one metric, well, then you're going to start immediately contextualizing the other things that you're doing to say, is it 
pointing towards that thing? Is it making it better or is it making it worse? So key performance indicators in our lives can be all sorts of different things. It can be something as simple as a bank account, right? It's a very easy measure. Is my bank account going up or going down? It can be measured in some like metric of uh, hours together, right? My family has eaten X amount of dinners together this week, right? If you can make that a key performance indicator of your family togetherness or your family intentionality. And so the reason I wanted to record this is because I got this watch. I'm getting used to it. I've only had it on for a day. That's why I'm actually wearing both right now because I have to transition one to the other. I wasn't about to subscribe to this Whoop bracelet and pay another like $300 a year when I can get a brand new Apple Watch for about the same. And now I understand more about my sleep that I'm going to migrate it to this. And frankly, the feature I love best about this Apple Watch, two things. Number one. It unlocks my computer so I don't have to type in my password because it knows it's wearing the watch. It's a really cool feature. I'm loving that. Uh, number two, this thing has a flashlight on it, right? So at nighttime, it even has a red light so I can feel like like a spy and I can look in the dark. And I was showing my wife last time. I was like, check it out. You know this thing has a flashlight? And she's had an Apple Watch for like three years. So she's like, yeah, it does. She goes, you look like a five-year-old doing that. I was like, I feel like a five-year-old. It's fun to have a flashlight. I feel like a secret agent. So... But the reason I, I wanted to bring this up is just because it's got me thinking about key metrics and when just paying attention to it, how that has totally changed my understanding and perception of it because I paid attention to one metric. So the question I'm going to ask and leave you with today is what area of your life do you want to start to see some incremental improvement in? This is just super practical right now. Is it your finances? Is it your family time together? Is it the amount of time you're spending with your friends? Is it time that you don't want to spend either watching Netflix or on TV, right? Because you can actually work the indicator so it's backwards, right? So when you spend over a certain amount of hours a week watching TV or on your device, right? That might be a key performance indicator you want to track and keep it under that amount. If you have an Apple device, right? It's not an Apple ad, this whole thing, but I just know they work. You have screen time, you have things that'll actually track how much time you're spending and try picking a metric in one area of your life this week and say, I'm going to pay attention to this metric. And then you let me know whether or not it improves. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. My key performance indicator is how much time I get to spend with you out in the world and in social media. And if that's going up, chances are I'm feeling pretty good about the work that I'm doing here. So until next time, keep pursuing that clarity. I'll see you next time. We can.